What's up guys, I am the Nearsighted Gamer and today I have a review for you of the PlayStation TV. The PlayStation TV is a device that allows you to play your Vita games on your television. And it also lets you stream content from your PlayStation 4 to your TV as well. A different TV, the same one that is connected to this. So, for example, if uh, your kids are wanting to play in the living room and that's where you have your PS4, you can hook this up in the bedroom and you'll be able to do that. You can play your PlayStation 4 in there, which is pretty cool. And actually, the reason I got mine, well, not the reason, but one of the reasons. All right, let's get to the review. It's actually not in here. It's over here okay here is the device itself yeah it's it's pretty small i hear uh, a lot of people talking about how small it is but i don't think it's too small considering what it does i mean it, it's it's actually good for it to be this small because it can just you know just you can just place it down and you can just hide it uh let's go let's give you a tour of the device itself Right here on the side is where you insert your games. They go right in there. And back here is your SD card slot, not your SD card slot, your PlayStation, your Vita memory card slot, I'm sorry. Uh, that is a USB port. This is your HDMI port. And right here is your ethernet cable port. And finally, we have your power adapter. Uh, the PlayStation TV, surprisingly, came with uh, a U um, HDMI cable. Uh, the charger for it is pretty much the same as for a Vita. It came in two pieces. There's this part and this part. And two install it you take this and you stick it to there and then you hook that in there and then your US um, HDMI if you want to call it that goes in there and I'll go ahead and show you how this works as well. Uh, here's a Vita game, and here happens to be my memory card. And you just click it in there. Same for this, just stick it in there, and you are good to go. All right, now on to the actual review. In my experience, playing this on a TV works pretty well. It's just like taking your Vita and putting it on your TV. It's the bubbles are the same. It's kind of weird seeing them so big on the screen, but they just took the interface and just put it on the TV. There's nothing different about it. Everything's the same. You still swipe back and forth between different uh, windows with L1 and R1. And when you put your memory card in, all your saved data gets moved to this so the games you have downloaded and your save data for your games like this and others that you may have it's all on there it just uh, loads it up and you can customize it to be the same way that you have your Vita as far as games go you you're getting uh, upscaled games so they're not going to look as good as they normally do on the Vita's awesome looking screen. But you can upscale them to, I think, 720. 
1080p or 1080i uh, yeah okay uh, and these are this is Vita games that I'm talking about just your normal Vita games or downloadable games like that those games they they may lose a little bit but they still look pretty good to me and, but when you talk about your PS1 classics uh, they're gonna look as about about as good as you think being games streamed from this to your TV they still look fine fine enough to play I mean you're gonna be able to play them no problem you can read things PSP games is where the visuals really suffer you can still play them uh, it doesn't hinder gameplay but you're probably gonna you're not gonna play them very long in my opinion because it you're taking games that were made for PSP and then you're streaming them and then upscaling them again to your TV yeah so it'll all be about nostalgia for you wanting to play your PSP games on this so uh, that's that's up to you on that now let's talk about remote play you can remote play games or I believe YouTube content or any anything that you can do on your PlayStation 4 you can stream to this just like you would if you were doing it for your Vita because it's essentially just a, a smaller Vita that connects to the TV which is why I think they should have uh, stuck with uh, Vita TV as well for North America instead of PlayStation TV it makes way more sense but it's recommended when you do that to have your PlayStation 4 and your Vita PlayStation TV, sorry guys, your PlayStation TV both hooked up to a Ethernet cable directly to your router. I'm not able to do this. I'm only able to connect this to my router because it's in the bedroom and my PlayStation 4 is in the living room. So I can't, I can only do one, but I haven't had any problems when I played. The only time I've had any problems at all was whenever my internet was having problems. It wasn't any problems about this. I'm sure of it. So, uh, it gives a thumbs up on my book as far as remote play goes. And whenever my kids want to play the PlayStation 3 and I get the boot, I can just go in there and play this as well. And I can play it without having to, I can play my PlayStation 4 without having to move it back and forth from one room to another, which is great because I don't, I don't have to worry about scratching it or anything. And I, I think it's a good idea. And like I said, I haven't had any problems with it uh, except for whenever it was my internet. This hasn't caused any problems at all. In conclusion, who is this for? I would say that this is for someone who likes Vita games but may not want to get a Vita because they would feel they would waste money and they don't they don't have the kind of lifestyle where having a portable gaming device would matter as in they stay at home around the house a lot and they they don't need to waste the money on uh, a Vita but they still want to play the games this is, is for someone like that or um, it could be for someone in my situation the reason the main reason I wanted to get this was so I could play games that uh, had writing that was too small for me to see. A perfect example of this is Freedom Wars. Freedom Wars is completely in Japanese with English subtitles. And I got it because I heard it was so good. Expect a review for that coming up possibly too. Just thought about that. And anyway, um, I got Freedom Wars and I was managing reading, but I know I was missing things and there was a lot of things that I wasn't able to read accurately. So 
I got this, and now I play it on my TV, and it looks great. And it's like, uh, it works so great. No problems, no complaints. That's also what this is for. Someone who may have vision problems and needs things to be uh, bigger so that they can read and enjoy the game more. I was a perfect example of this. My verdict on the PlayStation TV would have to be uh, if I have, had to give it something out of 10, I'd probably say an 8 out of 10. I think that the design is good. You don't lose anything. Your games go right inside. You have your card. Uh, everything that you need in order to take advantage of the, um, of the hardware is there. I don't have a problem with the small size. I like it very much. I like the black. I prefer the black over the white. This has nothing to do with my verdict, but I prefer the black over the white because I had a white Vita for quite some time, and I would really much rather have had a black one, but I had to get it because of the Assassin's Creed bundle. But size is fine. You can just sit this beside your TV, hide it over there. Uh, the only thing you would need to get to would be the power button on the back, which I didn't mention earlier. Yeah. That's a power button for that you use in case you don't put it in standby mode, which you can also do the same, just like a just like a regular Vita, standby mode, or just turn it off. But performance for playing games, uh, yeah, you can't beat it. Your Vita games onto your TV, they look awesome. Your PS One classics, they're gonna lose a little bit, but they're still gonna be great to play. Your PSP games, hey. Uh, they're not all going to be home runs but they're still able to be played there is um, some problems with some games not being able to play all games aren't compatible but the games that I have so far have been compatible so uh, not having had that problem it doesn't hurt the review for me so and the remote play is I've had no problems with it either Apparently, I got one of the good ones or something because I've seen people with re doing reviews of these who had theirs right next to each other and were having just terrible connection problems. I, I did not have that. I had an overall great experience. So like I said, 8 out of 10 for me. PlayStation TV. I'm pretty sure the last I checked, this was 100 bucks on Amazon. But I'm sure... They, it may have went down a little bit uh, on Amazon, I'm sure, because they are always doing that. So go and look if you want to. And I may put a link in the description so you can go and try to get it. Uh, I, I recommend it. Nearsighted Gamer recommends the PlayStation TV. So go pick it up if it's something that seems like you'd be interested in. Until next time, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah.